Oh, hi. I don't know if my arm covered that. These gnats are just eating me alive again. There we go. Got him. Looked like there was about three or four feet in there. success all right so today we're gonna go over one of the best days that I've ever had um, I didn't film a lot in my face mainly I actually didn't film at all in my face I'll be honest mainly because it was just a day where I just wanted to shoot and I was shooting well enough that I said maybe I should share this with you guys and I think that's what we got to focus on I'm gonna show you the misses and explain why they're misses um, and and why that's on me like 85% of the time certainly the gun uh, has a couple hiccups here and there that are make me off by this much and make me look like a terrible shot but other than that I think this was a pretty successful day out at the range so this first grouping here is at 25 yards and I want you to watch as it seems like it's an optical illusion that I'm aiming further down and to the right but so the grouping is actually rolling up into the left and that's why it looks like I aim further down into the right. But what you need to focus on is that little speck of red, and that's where I'm putting the crosshairs every time. It's 10. So here's the first group you saw. And I'm going to talk briefly here. This is why 10 shot groups are really important. Uh, with a 5 shot group, that looks like that. With a 10 shot group, I've got a little more spread and I do have one outside of that. But this is why 10 shot groups are important because it shows you how the gun is actually going to perform every single time. I mean, if you're not capturing it within 10 shots, it's probably the ammunition, or it's probably you yanked the trigger. Um, in this case, I think this is just a really good sign of what the gun can do. So here's that first group once again. I'll give you a close up. It's about, uh, with the flyer in there, I would call it a true half inch grouping. Um, without the flyer, it's almost down to a quarter inch grouping. But even then, I think any of you shooting this you'd say, I got a squirrel with any one of those 10 shots. So, that's that one. Let's see if we can get these boogers a little better. Full six all over. Okay. Speed shooting them out. All right, hard target. High, that one went way high. I can actually see these flying, this is really cool. Hey! I don't think she's gonna happen today. We've got just enough breeze that it pushes me left and right. Hopefully, 
you'll be able to see that. But here we go. Oh, that one hit just below. We got him, guys. All right, next shot. We're aiming right at it. We're going to see if we can get the remnants quick. Just below again. Couldn't get them. Hopefully you can see those impacts. Those impacts were right there and right there. Okay, so my first two were not on the paper, or not on the uh, red square, but they gave me a really good idea of where I was, should be shooting at. So I'm thinking right about here should be good. Okay. Not where I was expecting, but I can deal with that. I can definitely deal with that. Drop that one low. That one was on me. I didn't pick up on the wind on that one. I think that's in that main group. Okay, so that's seven on paper. Gotta hurry, gotta run. Okay. Drop that one low. Wind, wind coming. Oh my, that was actually a really good shot for the wind. That last one was right there. So, I have eight there and two there. And that's my starting shot. So, adjust it up and into it. So that kind of adjustment like that. And uh, we got a pretty good grouping. I'll give her a measurement here. All right, so this is the one we're all here for. This is a 100 yard grouping. It's oriented as you saw it in the video. Um, this is 11 shots. This is my first shot. We're not counting this one because this is where I was finding out how much drop it was. I adjusted up and then, and then I put these in here. I'm gonna say that these two are windage because they're at the same elevation and excuse me same elevation they're just pushed over here and it is the correct way the wind was coming very very gently from this way to this way so these two are on me i'm going to say or excuse me on the wind me not reading the wind right but the gun performing these two i'm going to say are either on the gun or definitely on on my shooting ability because you know i yanked the trigger pulled the, the front of the muzzle down just a touch and dropped those low but even if we include this to this I think I measured this at around a two and a half inch grouping at a hundred yards with a pellet gun. This is showing what that can do. Also, great point to tell to talk about um, 10 round um, ends or 10 shot groups because I have six of them within an inch. So if I shot these six, all happen to be shots one through six, I'd say that this is a one MOA gun. Is this a 1MO gun? No. Probably inside 50 yards it is, but not out at 100 yards. So that's a true um, MOA when you're at one 100 yards, so one inch. Um, that's kind of what everything is measured against. But anyways, um, once again, taking this out because this is my sight-in shot, that's 
a very, very, very respectable group out of any gun, and especially out of a very cheap pellet gun. Well, excuse me, the cheapest PCP that you can get with all the features that it's got. So, give you that statement. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, hopefully there was enough shooting for you. I tried to film this in 108060, so hopefully it comes out at 108060. If not, you get what you get. Um, I'm just still figuring this stuff out even though I've been at it a year.